Uh, my name is Frederick Shepard. I came here uh, in 2001 after the September 11th disasters and uh, got an idea about a project uh, away from that kind of uh, violence and everyone told me I was crazy uh, and my business partners told me well just take a month off with pay and go back and uh, that happened to be uh, March 11th 2004 the Madrid train bombing so uh, I decided uh, to take this project seriously and I disconnected from my old life and I gave it all I had. The whole project it, uh, was a way of giving back to the community as a way of being thankful. Now, after doing that for several years, then Federico asked me, like, well, what do you think of the possibility of creating a school? So I, I started thinking of um, ways of doing that, viable ways to do that. The exposure that the students get on the, on the festivals is always limited by number of participants, first the diverse level of participants. So the main idea was to give the students the opportunity to perform on a daily basis. This way they will uh, encounter the different challenges and uh, the experience of, of performing. Because performing and practicing are completely two different skills. And you need to, when you understand better what happens to you when you're performing, then you can gear your practice towards that and they get daily feedback of what the concert was like, what worked, what didn't, and then maybe experimenting new ways of approaching for the next day concert and see what will work better for them or not. with the teachers you can uh, it's really informal so there is no formality in the in the way that lessons are taught in the way the rest of the day goes so it's really for informal it's really uh, there's a really a nice atmosphere and really say calm and uh, relaxing so you get you're comfortable so in the first night you're like okay a little shaky the heart is pounding then by the end of the week you're like they are eager to perform, so that's what I'm perceiving personally. We're at the halfway point on a 500 mile journey and there's no live music anywhere and, and my personal experience is that when I got to this area my brain was already uh, a complete vacuum and what better place to place a brilliant idea than a vacuum to make it expand within the mind of a, of a person walking to save their soul. We have an interesting way of performing in that we, the Camino runs one direction and we play concerts the other direction in order that we have a new audience each day and it's the audience of the pilgrims. The idea is that the, it's a difficult part of the Camino, it's in the middle, it's all flat, it's kind of a more challenging part and the, Freddie decided to provide music during this difficult part of the Camino.
So it's my second year um, here in Carry On uh, as faculty at Renee's workshop, um, which is a really special kind of guitar festival. What's, um, I guess, the most amazing, unique feature is that really the faculty, like myself and Renee and the other teachers who are here this year, we don't give the concerts. The concerts are given by the students. So there's a huge amount of um, performance opportunity for young players from all over the world to come and play concerts every day, get that invaluable experience stepping out onto a stage in front of a really um, appreciative public and learning their task, learning their trade. It's so difficult to perform and experiences like this are worth their weight in gold. Well, we're here during the workshop and we had such a good time, the first uh, barbecue that we had. Um, uh, since that time, the, the local neighbors have gotten very interested in our project and so they've offered to come and cook. So we have the local cheesemaker here and his family and they're making a paella and uh, we have uh, some very lovely local ladies who are doing uh, shish kebabs and um, some other people have made some pastries for us and the local winemakers has cracked one of the barrels and um, we're trying to give students an immersion not only in, in guitar culture but Spanish culture. The workshop is actually an extension of trying to make sure that this project has a longevity. I'm getting old, these artists are, are going to get old. I'm trying to create a great performance experience for young people so that when they have families and when they get their solid teaching position, they want to come back. And uh, when you have concerts in thousand year old churches and you've fostered a good relationship with the local people. I think this is something that this community really wants to continue. And it's never been based on money, it's never been based on corporate sponsorship or, or government sponsorship. My passion, my calling in life is, is, is teaching. I like performing, of course, but uh, but I do more the performing because it makes me a better teacher. You know, and it, it helps me understand how could I approach uh, an issue of a student. But there's nothing more rewarding to see a kid after coming and playing and doing working in this workshop, feeling in a different uh, uh, light the ability to perform. And I have had many that have stage fright, and they learn how to manage it because it's just about learning how to deal and recognizing your own symptoms and learning how to practice to prevent some of the things when they are happening. So those are things that you uh, usually, because uh, when a student is, is, learning, is, is learning classical guitar, they play concerts very sporadically, maybe once a semester, at the end of the semester, after walking, working through the, through the entire semester in a repertoire. And then this way can offer the ability of, of getting to know themselves a little bit better.